just for the classic movie fan. See you in May. Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and thanks for joining us. For the next several hours, we'll be presenting films starring one of the leading heartthrobs in the 1950s and 60s, Troy Donahue. Up first from 1965, an uncharacteristic Donahue film, also a TCM premiere, My Blood Runs Cold. At the start of his career, Donahue's boyish good looks made him a bankable romantic lead, always saving the day, always getting the girl. But like most actors stuck as one character, Donahue wanted something different. And he went for it with My Blood Runs Cold, playing completely against type, a character who doesn't seem quite right in the head. As the movie progresses, it becomes clear just how insane he may actually be. This was the last movie Donahue made at the studio that made him a star, Warner Brothers. Shortly after My Blood Runs Cold was released, the actor asked to be released from his contract two years early. Studio boss Jack Warner was living, and Warner, who still wielded enormous power around town, did his part to see that Donahue's career as a top leading man quickly came to an end. But here he is, just prior to that career-changing move in an unexpected thriller from 1965 with a cast that also includes Joey Heatherton, Barry Sullivan, Nicholas Coster, and Jeanette Nolan, directed by William Conrad, the TCM premiere of My Blood Runs Cold. <laughs> 